Can your car be powered by grease that french fries are fried with? Yes, right here in Western Massachusetts, there's a small company that will mail you a kit to convert your diesel car to also run on vegetable oil. Everything, so it's a dual fuel system. You have your diesel fuel system, and then we have the grease car system. So it's a parallel fuel system. You can use vegetable oil or diesel. Um, you always start the vehicle on diesel fuel, and then once it's warmed up, you switch over to grease. Basically, vegetable oil and diesel fuel are real similar properties. The only difference is viscosity. So we um, use the heat from the hot water off the engine to bring the viscosity of the oil to the same as it would be if it was diesel fuel. Biodiesel is another alternative fuel, which you probably hear a lot about recently. They are doing the same thing, reducing the viscosity of the vegetable oil. We're doing it by heat. They do it by chemical reactions. It's the same. I mean, these valves control whether the vehicle is operating on diesel or vegetable oil. This filter here is just for your vegetable oil fuel. Um, the copper that's wrapped around it is the heat exchange that coolant travels through. All the red hoses are coolant hoses. Josh wrapped his fuel lines in this orange stuff. It's insulation. It's silly, but um, the tank is buried in this one. The tank is in the rear of the Mercedes, like these other guys as well. It's that round tank that we saw inside. It goes down the spare tire well in the trunk. On um, um, the dashboard is the fuel selection switch to choose diesel or vegetable oil. Fuel level gauge. And that's the basics of the kit. Basically, I'm going to install um, the filter uh, and a heat exchanger right here. It's sort of going to be in this area. Uh, and then there'll be two valves that I mount here and here. Um, and basically I disconnect this line and this line. This is the diesel fuel in, this is the diesel fuel return. Uh, the pump brings in more fuel than the actual engine needs. When you switch to vegetable oil, the valve A turns off, or excuse me, turns on and s switches the diesel off and the vegetable oil feed on. And then the vegetable oil goes into the pump, comes back, goes into the valve B. Um, and then there's actually a T-junction after valve B, uh, excuse me, before valve B, that goes to the filter and it goes back to valve A. And that's part of our purge system. So the return fuel is now, instead of going back on a, on a standard car, the way it is set up right now, we have what's called an open return line. Uh, so the, the diesel comes in, engine uses what it needs, out, goes back to the filter. If the filter is full and doesn't need any excess fuel, it goes back to the tank. My name is Jim Norman and I come from Teaneck, New Jersey. Why are you converting the car to grease? What made you decide to do this? Well, um, a variety of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm just really, really, really tired of uh, buying into fossil fuels, non-renewable resources. I have a brand new grandson. I want to leave him a better world. Even that's happening even for folks that are just riding with diesel instead of using biodiesel or vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Diesels are 30 to 40 percent more efficient than gasoline vehicles. So even if you just had a TDI that ran on diesel, you get 50 miles to the gallon. Where this with a gas engine gets 25 miles to the gallon. So 30 to 40 percent more efficient, and generally the life of the diesel is 30 to 40 percent longer than the life of the gasoline engine. So this will go 300,000 miles, where a gas belt probably will want to fit. Wow.